How the whole idea came about, it was through this ladies who come to my house on every Friday collecting from a rubbish bin. After interacting with her, I got to understand you know, what she does and why she does it. I was just so moved by her story to find out that you know, she was collecting paper, boxes, cans, what you and I throw away. And for her, that's bread and butter. I decided to intervene, so I built this dummy trolley for her. You know, while I was constructing the trolley, I realized, you know, we can make this thing a much more sustainable project. So my name is Sifiso Ngobesa. I'm founder and social entrepreneur of a company called Unconventional Waste Solutions. We are a recycling company with has a touch of social impact and social relevance. Abo Makhareza is a social enterprise under the umbrella of unconventional waste solution. Now, the biggest challenge that they face on a regular basis are the, you know, the trailers that they use. They break down easily, they put poor visibility, which cause a hazard for, for both the road user and the waste picker. We saw an opportunity within unconventional waste and said, how about we create these more safe trailers for them that, first of all, allow them to collect more waste, and secondly, uh, the traders offer a branding opportunity for corporates or for sponsors who sponsor the, the initiative. What we've done is that so we've created a, um, our, a design and we are very, very uh, specific in terms of using lighter material uh, such as plastic on the trolleys just to make it easier for the guys to use the trolleys. Well, our trolleys uh, um, allow the guys to collect more waste, so they're quite bigger in capacity. So that translates to them earning more revenue or more additional um, income over and above what they used to earn using their old trolleys. Secondly, the trolleys are much more safe on the road, so we've got reflective material and that is on the trolleys. Part of the offerings is that we provide training for the waste pickers who are part of this project. And that training includes financial and business literacy, it includes a training on health and safety, and lastly, it includes training on upcycling and repurposing waste, right? And the whole idea behind training them on those aspects is that we want to give them skills that will make them move away from seeing this thing as a chore but rather than as a business venture that they can invest into. And so for instance, when you train them on the upcycling of waste, what we do is that, for instance, this flower pot was made using uh, paper. And the whole idea is that you know, we want to see the guys recovering the waste, like paper, taking it back to their facility and transforming it into an end user product where that they can sell to other buyers. For us, I think the, one of the biggest challenges is that, you know, we at a point where we struggle to scale and I believe if we to find, you know, the right partner to come on board with us, we can take the Bomakhara's initiative nationwide and probably take it beyond the borders of South Africa because if you think about it, you know, there's about uh, 60,000 of waste pickers in the country and a lot of them, you know, are still at the bottom of the food chain. So, you know, you know, with the right group of people who can come on board, we can turn these individuals into professionals, into entrepreneurs within the workspace, but we can only do that with the right partners uh, holding our hand. Yeah.